client hasn't had a haircut in over five months. I, I called that shit. Sure I know about, I know about hair. hair. Shut the Taking my time, I'm going stroke by stroke, piece by piece, and I'm insured that I'm cut. So I'm taking my time, I'm going stroke by stroke. Look at this shit here. What the fuck is happening in that head of his? Look at this man right here. Play OSS. No, this is what chat look like right now. This is exactly how chat walk in the street. Oh! What are you doing out there, buddy? So to kick this video off, I'm going in with my wall coiler scenes and I'm literally knocking all of the curls or the naps out the way. So once I slap my guard two on, I'm able to knock them naps right about that motherfucker. He knocking the naps right Why up. Why not? Let the chat rate the song. He locking it. And this is a number two close. Damn, the they're the holding on to the clippers. Look at it. Number two uh, he had to pull that bitch through it. Understand that uh, my client has a thicker grade of hair, so I decided to just do a two close. Um, Jeez, chopping it down, and then I'll see what I'm gonna be able to do a little bit later. But that you know, hair don't see, listen. Once you get those naps out the way. Once you get to going through that hair, you get to come and clean off the head, man. And one thing that was very interesting about this client, I had went into the shop. Early. You wish you had hair. And one of my co-workers was like, hey, bro, I got a guy who just walked in. He's like, I know you don't take walk-ins, but I have a walk-in for you. And I think this would be amazing YouTube content. And he know I've been trying to shoot on my own. So I was like, that's perfect. Yeah. So I went there and I'm chopping it up with this guy. And okay. this guy literally has a promotion, you know, but he has to cut his hair. Okay. And I just felt that was very dope and very interesting. That yeah. When, when people break into more of the corporate world, how you got to change that image up. Like, no matter who you are. Yeah. And then I just really thought to myself, like, what okay, now thinking? the pressure is on because I have to You're looking something. jealous. You need me to don't know a wig? This is just as equivalent to, like, a wedding or any other real important thing that one of our clients got coming up. They got yeah, like, like a job interview, a wedding. Yeah, you really got to tap in when you get one of those type of business deals. Makes sense. To cut their hair for. He's literally cutting his hair for a promotion to look better. Mm. So uh, I knew I had to come with it in this video. Man. Yeah, you and had to you tap it. really like the ending of this uh, video because I had a lot of difficulties in this video. Once I cut this hair down, y'all finna really see me, me hop see. into that artistry and hop into the bag of why I'm on YouTube. YouTube. I really okay. want y'all to see this. The average person yeah. or the average barber would be scared or would have made a mistake in this specific haircut. And Chat, your barber ain't doing this. You know that. Y'all average barbers y'all got out there. Y'all ain't fucking with this boy right here. And that's the, that's the honest truth. I really, 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 really want y'all to see how the ending product comes out. So right Look here, I have a one and a half and it's halfway closed. And I'm just literally knocking all of the hair Knock down that to air. my desired length that I want. Mm-hmm. Knock that hair right off that scalp right there. Look how he knocking that hair off. And he ain't with playing him, with him. And right here, I go in with my end. This T outline as I create look at my that. first initial ball line. Look at that. Literally that ball half line. inch from the bottom up. And I'm creating that line just so I'll be able to go ahead and give him a taper. Taper. Because we're going to do something. What's um, that? Very simple, but it's very pronounced and it's very executive. Okay, okay. So I go in with my Andis Masters and they're yeah. fully open and I'm going up about another half of an inch. And I'm literally clearing bulk and clearing the room so I can give myself that uh, area to fade. Okay, I like how you're doing that actually. You see how he you see me got closing it, he's closing it. I'm literally hitting the bottom of that line. The very bottom. bottom of that line. Slowly but surely opening my Masters every time I flick at that line. Line. The more you see the line blend in, every time you flick a notch and you go up just a tad bit higher. Mm -hmm. And as you guys can see, I'm, I'm in seeing like a scooping motion, like a C scooping like a motion. Scooping. I never lay my clippers flat on the back of like no one's head scoop. because you don't want too harsh of a guy line that's hard to get out. Scoop that thing. You gotta scoop that neck. Look how he's scooping. I just want y'all to know, man, I've been really, 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 really working behind this camera. I've been trying to get these angles down packed for y'all, man. You're doing a and good it's job. it's so much harder when I don't have the 
equipment that I want. So mm. the best part about this is like we're gonna keep doing it till we get everything that we want and everything we need. But right here, mm. I'm gonna one sixteenth that's fully open and I'm creating another fade room for Get up on that, get up on that. Drop them to close so I can start knocking out that bottom line. Knocking the bottom line about that. Mm-hmm. Shout out to B Boy, cause this beat fire. Listen to that beat. Line crooked. Shut up, man. Don't you see he doing something? You guys can see I'm literally fading in between the realms right now. On the actual neck tapers just to get this thing as blended as possible to me. Because I still don't like how his hair lay. Because this is his first haircut. You can't expect hairs to just lay down. Yeah, they not That's going. Literally brings the distortion into tapers or the iffiness into tapers when the hair don't lay down. Yeah, the like hair ain't going. To. He's so used to his hair standing up that none of it wants to lay down. It wants, it wants to lay to the side. It's not even trained. So you know what we do in these predicaments. Only thing that we do is we just keep everything consistent. You don't mm. change your face structure because of the head. That's one thing I learned a while ago. Yeah. You can't teach or you can't tell someone that face structure is this way, but you're changing your Chat, he trying to put you on game. You really can't. Go in there messing with that fade structure just based off the quality of hair. The hair is untrained right now. So what he got to do is maintain that same structure he would do with another head that would be. Yeah, really. That's what happens. Let's create. Mm hmm face structure every time you cut a different head that's not consistency mm. so with that being said we keep the fade Look at that. techniques completely the same we don't change anything we ain't changing we let those damn hairs thing. fall into place and once the haircut comes to life everything is so much more beautiful man. yeah i'm noticing this he got like a little a little cave right there the hair is harder to knock off because his head he got a little hot dog on that neck you see that that we call that that hot dog neck he got a little bit of hair burrowing under that that layer so what the barb got to do is get up under that i'm not liking how that hair piling up in it's so much more appreciative because y'all were able to bring the fade together by y'all self and i want y'all to understand always comb and fade at the same time you want to knock out all miscellaneous hairs exactly you really want to lay those hairs down after hitting them with the clippers you want to see what you're really working with in terms of the canvas so i want y'all to understand man all the little techniques that i'm doing yeah our everyday techniques every single day we do things like this to to to, to better the craft that's what it's about and then right here we finna What's really that? get busy i'm going right into that fade. the bottom of the temple area to create my first initial guideline i just created some space with the masters because i ain't feel like bald in it yet okay and okay. then i go back and bald it then i go back in with my masters fully open now and then you see me slowly but see surely you. dropping see you. the trimmers in this I area i see you, you know okay have a light, okay nice taper right here in the corner Okay, look at this. My 116th guard, and it's fully closed, and I opened it up right get here. Get up in that. Mm -hmm. So I give myself a little bit more room. Look and at it. You see me bring the two together right here. Look at that. Look at that. That you are watching a master at like, work. At times in his haircut, I question myself so many times, and that's why I played that clip at the beginning. He never cute in my hair. He said to us, always stuck after that, man. And it's just like, it don't matter how tough things get you. You got to keep rocking keep out. You got to keep the punches. You got to keep everything going. Yes. Bills still got to be paid. Yes. Bills always going to come. Even if you don't feel like it, you got to get up and changes. get it. Yup. So we locked in. And mm -hmm. the clip is fully open. And I'm literally using the corner of my blade. Look at that. To slowly but surely knock this line out that I see. Knock that line up out of it. As you guys can see, we in the game. So right here, I go and do the front lineup. Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you something very specific. The average barber would have pushed this all the way back, but because my client has alopecia spots, me and my client consulted about what we wanted to do. Did we want to push it back? Did we want to blow a taper out? He wanted his curves, and he mm -hmm. wanted his lining as natural as possible. Yes. Including his alopecia spots, but he wanted to be able to cover them using enhancement because I showed him what I do. If he said enhancement, if I can use it well, then I can just fill in his alopecia spots. I said okay. that is perfect. Okay. That gives me more content and gives me value to give to you guys. Thank in terms you. Of YouTube because yeah. anybody can do a straight lineup. 
anybody can do a, a, a C cup. Anybody can yeah. do vertical bars. Anybody can do anybody a doing that feed. shit. But how many people? Can yeah, this is what's up in this area. That's what I'm a little confused at. What's going on here? Put a line up there that's not there. You gotta visualize I'm visual. certain things. And now I'm starting to see when I said I hated designs and how people can visualize a design. It's the same way with me visualizing a lineup. I honestly can't tell you how I can visualize the bottom part of the lineup, even though it's not there. As you guys can see, right where my clippers is, you don't see hair there. I don't he, see. He, he's very pronounced in the front of the line and then at the top. But on terms of the vertical bars right here, look at that. Look at that. He's not strong, but I create a reference line right here if you guys are paying attention i'm paying i lightly go in with kiss expressions and i create a reference line as if the line was there watch when i bag let up. me see and, and as you guys see me brush it right into yeah. the hair blend that, that. My blend reference that. line of blend really that. bringing a haircut to life of where the vertical bar should have been okay and then i'm gonna go right behind that with fibers because fibers lay better than actual semi-permanent no way and i got up close on that to show you let me see and because they lay better than semi-permanent in terms of laying better they're supposed to be real hair better than the actual semi-permanent so oh, sometimes look you have at to that. double up your look at that chat. and i went in with spritz as well mm -hmm. and then Get i just spritz. go in and i pronounce everything and i just re-hit my season as you guys can see everything falls into place and when i tell you guys and i can't stress it enough this is literally my heart in the game right here That's i love cool. this and everybody always kill in the comments about color enhancement and you guys are i'm not cutting my hair and you not growing any so you wasted both of our time what do we gain from this got me about to nap while watching his naps look at it how terrible the beer was in terms of the beer we wanted to knock it down as low as possible and reshape it. yes but what we had to do What's that? was literally manipulate things in a certain amount of time frame to make sure he made it back to the job on time so mm. what made it for me is i went in with kiss expressions on the applicant brush and i literally framed out his whole look beard at that look at that doing it and it's just a method to me that just makes beards so much easier i can make them as crispy as i want because i do not like putting clippers on nobody's face i honestly feel like get the nappy eye beard lined up too hard to be on someone's face and people get whipped from the clippers on their face so i just i i i'm not a fan of it and a lot of people always thought that this was method or technique it's just my technique of not destroying someone's face but i like to get in and literally dry razor dry the actual razor. line of the beard and then i go in with my tomb 45 shaving gel okay, let me see. and i put that all on the hairs that are around that line and what happens with that dry shave his face he does not have the skin to have a dry Dry shaved face, he would bump up, and the whole thing would be bad. And that's not no, we, we don't want, want. So we that. Get real close to that line, get up on dry that shaver line. that razor part on the line, just the line. They're not even gonna feel it, it's not gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. None of that. You just hit those lines real quick, and then you go behind it with your shaving gel and clear majority of the area or clear all of the bulk with the shaving gel. And this right here is how you get the real pronounced clean line. Let lineups. me see. And Let right me here, see. I want to show you. He doesn't even have a C cup in this yet because it was so light. So you guys watch me bring this all the way together where the Ooh. vertical bar should be here. And then now I'm curving it into the seat with my client laid back. It's just easier for me to draw. And then I go right in with my straight He in his bag. This what he getting into. This what most barbers couldn't have did. Man, and the beauty of YouTube to me, man. I honestly feel like bringing content like this is amazing because the average barber would have been scared I'm trying to, to touch them vertical bars, man, because of the alopecia spots. But I want to be able to show y'all that you can always make something out of nothing. And that's just if you believe in yourself, man. And if you really love this craft, we're going to always get canvases that we hate. Like, we used to run yes. away from haircuts when haircuts used to scare us and now you don't have no choice when you decide to be in this game and in this industry mm -hmm. evolution the mm -hmm. level of innovation is in the air you can't slow down he got that boy right for the summer look at him now check he came in there looking like a hobo now he about to get all the hoes bro look at that boy Look at that bull. He got to get right back to that job and get a bag. So 
saw it right here mm -hmm. at the end of this video. I just wanted to show y'all the big chop that I did. What the fuck happened back there in right the here neck? At the end of this video, I just wanted. I don't like the back of that neck. I don't know what's up with that area. What y'all think about the back of the neck? I don't know about that. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. I don't know what I think about that. What's going on back there? What's going on? To show you. I'm, I'm just going to charge that to the alopecia that he said he had. He got, he got a little alopecia Most of spots. it pained. He got the alopecia spots. That's what that is. Y'all, the big chop that I did on my boy, he had called me literally after this. He got the promotion for the job. He definitely crispy. We back in the game. Y'all know what time If it you is. are Hashtag painting your hairline, TV. aren't you just faking your looks just like women? Somebody got to do it. Listen, T, if we in the comment section, hashtag TBT. This Chat, should I paint my hair? Chat, should I get a painted head? That's what I should do, honestly. I should, yeah, I should do that. This was exactly, literally, how to execute a first person's haircut. As you guys can see, the lineup is crispy. Shout out to my Classic Styles fam. If you don't know, I'm located in Harvey, Illinois, on Big Samore uh, at Classic Styles Barbershop. That's clean. If you were watching this. I was. I want to say thanks for watching. Okay. Please like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Okay. And may God bless. Chat, please like, share, and follow the stream and stay blessed. You know, if you're enjoying the stream, I want y'all to follow it. Yeah, I want, yeah, you know what I'm saying?